February is here and it's actually a decent month for MOBO game releases. Hey everyone, this is James and today I'm back with the top 10 best new games of the month. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting at number 10, it's Bullet Force. This is an online multiplayer first-person shooter action-driven game where players engage in fast-paced combat as anti-terrorists or terrorists, similar to CSGO Critical Ops. Also, the game doesn't have a story. Instead, you engage in a series of skirmishes set in locations such as an industrial area, a city, and oddly, an office building. However, the game features a variety of modern military weapons all of which can be customized both functionally and aesthetically. The controls are responsive, which also adds to the feel of the gameplay. Actually, the gameplay wasn't that hard to play, especially if you've ever played Counter-Strike before. Then you can easily play this game throughout. The graphics are really nice, nothing too fancy, but in general, it looks quite good. On to number 9 with Resurrection. This is an offline open world game where you play the role of a samurai whose mission is to destroy a race of evil monsters. You run into all kinds of enemies, each one with its own abilities and fighting style. Some enemies are more aggressive and won't leave you alone, while others wait for you to make a mistake. The game features a large variety of different weapons and armor, such as swords, spears, batons, and other melee weapons that you can unlock as you play. The game has beautiful low-poly graphics, however, the biggest con of this game is that it is only available in the Chinese language. At number 8, it's Cookies Must Die. This is a lightning-fast, acrobatic action game that sees you running, jumping, and flying through the air as you take on a host of weird and wild enemies. You play as a bearded bloke called Jack, who happens to be a super-secret agent using his super-powered combat maneuvers and a varied assortment of weapons. Now, some of you might struggle with the touchscreen controls, though they haven't given me too much trouble. The game has beautiful graphics and compelling storylines, so if you like platform games, then you can find Cookies Must Die for free on both Android and iOS. At number 7, we have Trooper Shooter. This is a third-person multiplayer shooting game where you fight against other opponents while trying to capture all the checkpoints in order to win the match. There are two different maps available in the game, which is great, and the intuitive controls allow you to understand the main features and game mechanics with ease. Auto-fire features are also quite accurate. Each character has their own unique abilities, and you will be able to unlock each character as you level up. Overall, the graphics are good. Currently, Trooper Shooter is in beta testing, so the game may improve in the future. Moving along to number 6, it's Real Rally. Real Rally is an offline dirt rally racing game. The game's driving mechanics are fairly simple, and while the gameplay can be adjusted to an extent, the actual physics aren't overly realistic, though also not arcadey. However, the controls are responsive, which also adds to the feel of the gameplay. The game features a career mode as its main campaign and boasts dozens of different tracks to race on, along with various weather effects. The graphics are nice, but nothing too fancy, but it does generally look quite good. On to number 5, it's Shoot the Beat. This is an immersive rhythm experience game similar to other rhythm EDM games. It is not, however, a standard beat game. The gameplay involves sliding left and right to catch the falling diamonds. It's much easier to play than other beat games as there is no strict judgment. The game uses popular and contemporary electronic dance music. In fact, I've been playing games with classical music with vocals like Japanese idol music games for so long it's nice to hear these EDM. The game mode is relatively simple and the visuals are not really strong enough. So overall, if you're a lover of fun shooting games with EDM music, I'll gladly recommend this one for you. At number four, it's Aquario. This is a two-dimensional action game in which you'll have to control a queen fish roaming underwater. Your job is to feed her so that she'll give birth to piranhas. 
Collect neutral creatures and they will join you as you grow your school of fish and merge small creatures into stronger ones. Over time, devour your school of fish to let your queen fish gain some experience. After gaining the required amount of experience, your queen fish will advance to the next level of evolution, acquiring some special ability. I played this game for several hours and frankly, this game is extremely addictive. Moving on to number three, we have V-Game. This is an anime style role-playing game that will keep gamers on their toes, relying on their quick reactions to dodge or block incoming attacks from enemies. This semi-open world game switches between two separate worlds, with your character balancing between the real world and a parallel one, in a similar concept to the Persona series. Its action gameplay is akin to the likes of Honkai Impact, but comes with a slight twist by simply adding the functions of attacking and dodging attacks. Overall, the game is really cool and quite fantastic. Both the game and gameplay are really amazing, and it's simply a super nice game all around. Next at number two, it's Dino Squad. This is a multiplayer online action game in which events unfold in a post-apocalyptic world and the combat action takes place in a five-on-five -five format. The main premise of the game is that you have to fight using a weaponized dinosaur. You have a wide selection of lizards as well as an impressive arsenal of weapons and equipment, which will allow you to maximize your opportunities. The controls are good and the visuals are awesome. Right now, this game is available for both Android and iOS. And finally, at number one, it's Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels is a ragdoll physics web game created by Fancy Force. Happy Wheels features countless characters and vehicles to unlock. Each level is a new experience. Survive an array of deadly traps, hazards, and even your own bike turning against you as you battle to reach the finish line of each stage. Though covered in blood and gore, this dark, tricky, physics-based, puzzling arcade game can be funny for some, yet horrifying for others. The game has been played by PewDiePie and many other popular YouTubers, so you can only imagine how great this game must be and why people like it so much. That's all for this one. Don't forget to hit the like button and smash subscribe for more great content. Hope to see you back next time. Peace.